Oh, the, the king just arrived too. I just saw him pass by. Do you not have a relationship with your wife? Wait, what? Vlad, are you leaving? You're supposed to. You're supposed to be our journalist. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be trying out the Missing Princess Aspiration and I'm so excited to try this. It is a update to the royalty mod by Lazy Beef, which means that you can't download this Aspiration separately. You have to download the royalty mod to be able to play this Aspiration. And I have done several mod overview videos of the royalty mod in the past and I'll link them below in the video description if you have not seen them yet. There has been a lot of updates since my last video on it. I think there's been like uh, knights and illiteracy and peasant life and all that. In this video, we are just focusing on the missing princess aspiration. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to do videos about the other updates. I just haven't been able to do a lot of videos this past year due to my health, but wait, we will see. Um, so we are going to try this out. I am going to first go over some information on the Patreon page for you. So this is directly from the Patreon post by Lazy Neve. It says, Get Famous has always been recommended to play this mod and is strongly recommended to play this update. Without it, you might not be able to experience the full features of this update. I, I know people have asked and yes, you can still download it without Get Famous, but it I, you're going to be missing so much of this stuff. So I definitely recommend having that. It says the missing princess aspiration. This update is inspired by the film Anastasia, where your sim has to work through the aspiration to announce to the world that they are the missing royal. It also says that this is available for both male and female. Missing Princess is just a catchier name. And we will go through all the aspiration goals and new features during our little gameplay of this aspiration today. So to try this aspiration, I did just make a few sims and put them in a brand new save file. For those who don't know, I do have a save file for my main royal family Let's Play series on my channel, and then I have a royal starter save, but those just have like, they have so many royal families in them and there's already a bunch of chaos and other stuff happening. So I just thought we would start simple and have a brand new save file. So I'll give you some background information for what I was thinking for this story. Obviously this is based off of Anastasia and I decided to mix it with a few other things too. So right, oh well, she has something, okay, start an event, why? Let me get rid of that. What was I saying? <laughs> um, so I do have our sim here, this is Annie, and I'm having this take place in Hemford on Bagley. And for the backstory, I was thinking maybe that when Annie was a kid, the palace was under attack and then the royal family had to flee and I just have the king and queen and Annie so I didn't have any other siblings for her but they had to flee and then with all the chaos there they got separated her she got separated from her parents and then she got separated from her bodyguards and then she fell hit her head lost her memory Anastasia basically so I figured I was like maybe she just remembers and like thinks her name is Annie but maybe it's actually like Princess Annabelle or something like that and I have her now as a young adult someone's calling hold on um also that chicken is just chilling I do have her already starting something for the aspiration so you guys will see here I've already kind of had her do some things for the aspiration but she's reading the royal family lore book and she gains skill from it so she has to reach level three so I'm having her do that while I just say what's going on. So right now I have her as a young adult and it's been many years. The king and queen I thought might have, so instead of Anastasia, how like the king and queen, like they die and all that stuff. Um, I thought maybe that they would come back and that there was probably a bunch of stuff that happened before they did, but we don't need to get into that. But now they are the king and queen of Henford and Bagley again. And they have been looking for their lost daughter, the lost princess for many years. It's been many years at this point. So yeah, now we have Annie here. She has kind of been doing a bunch of side jobs and helping out on farms in Henford on Bagley just to be able to feed herself. I have her here with, this is a couple that I already came with Edward on Bagley, so Derek and Ian, and I have her currently kind of here as a roommate. I figured they would let her stay a bit with them. She's got a fairly good friendship with them. So that is the situation for now. 
As you guys saw, we are on the very first part of the aspiration for the missing royal. And it says you need to gain two levels of fame, which I have already gone ahead and done. And then you need to reach level three of the charisma skill. I think she's on like level six or something like that. And then again, max the royal family lore skill. So maybe she's just recently, uh, for some reason, has been drawn to information about the royal family. And she picked up this book at the library. I just ordered it on the computer. But um, she picked up this book and she's learning all these things about about them and so now it's like it says uh, missing royal I swear I am so maybe she's like already putting the pieces together and we'll kind of see what else she has to do for this aspiration it looks like that there's four parts to this aspiration and I'm very curious to see I don't know why this keeps coming up when I'm not trying to plan an event um, I don't know if that's a glitch or what's going on I have currently Derek and Ian as NPCs, so it's, it's really just her right now so I had her doing stuff on the farm now she's so close to getting to level three of the royal family lore skill and I have her already kind of knowing people in the town. There's some things here you'll probably see that comes with the royalty mod anyway. Like there's a traitor that comes with the royalty mod, which I thought was interesting. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, so I, I have her knowing some of the townsfolks already and I'm pretty sure she has to have some sort of relationship with several people. So hopefully this will give us a bit of a head start. I'll probably cheat some things as we go just for the sake of this video, but I think this will be really fun and I think it'll be really fun for you guys to see it on your own as well. Okay, that just fast forwarded so fast. Um, Max the royal family lore skill. Annie has learned some interesting and most uh, mostly unknown facts about the royal family. This research has just been the nail in the coffin and has all but confirmed her suspicions. So she was suspicious that she was the missing royal. Now she's fairly positive. Okay, so next we have to, oh, oh, we're gonna have to go into town for this. Uh, we have to gain three levels of fame, so I'm gonna have to up that a bit, and then have 10 or more friends. Luckily, we already have six, so that's a head start. But then we have to convince 25 Sims of royal blood. Oh goodness, okay, that's a lot. Let's start with Ian and, what's your name, sorry? Ian, a Ian and Derek. Let, let's start with them, since they're already here. You can be the first two of 25. I'm probably gonna have to like, skip through a bunch of this. All right, convince of royal blood. Oh, you, oh no, 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 he's using the bathroom. Wait, hold on, no, 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 don't do it yet. <laughs> That's not a good start. I'm so sorry, sir. We, we were trying to convince you we were of royal blood and accidentally walked in on you using the restroom. Oh, are you done? I am so sorry, sir. I, I hope you're still willing to listen to us. Um, convince of royal blood. Did that work? Yes. All right. One down. Um, let I don't see his husband here. I, he must have gone off into town. So let's just go into town and hopefully we can get more sims on our side here. So I have the king and queen living here. It looks like the, the queen is not here. I think that they might end up showing up into town. So I'll kind of show you guys what I did. I made them separately in a household and I, I set them as her mom and dad. And then I tried to like set their relationship to zero because they like, obviously it's been so long since they've seen each other, but then they kept saying hi to each other in town and they kept calling each other. So I ended up, I used MC Command Center for this. I'll link that below. It's a, the most amazing mod, but I ended up deleting their rela her relationship with the king and queen, which means that I will have to add them back as her mom and dad. And I don't know how that's, I, I hope that doesn't affect the mod too much in how this works. I guess we'll see. But otherwise they just kept like, talking to each other in the middle of town. And I was like, that's that's not what we want. We'll see if this works instead. There's also a trait for lots that say no royals or nobles, in case you just don't want them randomly. Sh oh, no, 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 oh, wait. Oh, well, I mean, you can flirt with her, but that's not what we're doing right now. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it, because that otherwise the king queen would just show up on the lots, but it made like no one show up, even if they were not royals or nobles. I don't know why. So I decided to just take it off. Heads up, we might randomly see the king and queen come in here, but they don't technically know each other. And there's also a part of the mod that allows the peasants, so-called peasants to react to royals. So you guys are seeing a bit of the other parts of the mod in this video, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. There's, I don't know why there's so many angry people here. We have our ridiculously dressed townies too. So we do have to make a couple more friends as well, but we also need to convince of royal blood to a lot of people. So I'm gonna fast forward and, and try to do this with as many Sims as possible. Oh, that's the queen. She's taking out the 
trash. Um, ma'am, I don't know if you want to be here. So her name's Adelaide. I, I did Winden. In my main royal family Let's Play series, I have uh, Hemper and Bagley as a, like, basically the countryside of Windenburg, and it's all part of the Windenburg kingdom, mostly because I already had a Windenburg royal family and I didn't want to add another royal family. And Hemper and Bagley fit my Windenburg royal family, what I had imagined them already so well. So I, I just did their last name as Winden. I did it kind of random. I, I said Annie's as Henford, because I was like, she wouldn't earn remember her last name, but maybe she just named herself where she was from, which I know people did a lot in the past, but I guess technically this is taking place a bit more modern. I dress them more modernly, but I think some of the Sims that are part of the royalty mod are probably dressed a bit more medieval, like the traitor. But okay, let's see. Convince of royal blood. I don't know if they have to be friends with them. You seem the friendly sort, you know, if you want to help out a few of the important villagers. Okay, yes. I mean, technically I think she does already help out. Oh, oh, okay, we've, we've convinced six already. I have to get her fame up too. How do I do that? If I can't figure out how to do it in gameplay, I might just cheat <laughs> just for this video. She is a friend with Cecilia and Cecilia's talking to the queen. Aren't you a peasant? I think you're a peasant. And also there's the thing, I, well, you know what? Wait, pretend that's not the queen. Pretend she's just not randomly showing up. Ooh, who are you? Why are you glowing? Um, excuse me? Um, but pretend she's not randomly showing up. Cause it's like, wouldn't you recognize her? Like, I'm sure she looks a lot different. Different enough to where, and she's grown now, but different enough to where people wouldn't really recognize her when they had seen the princess in the past. I'm sure you guys know why this girl's glowing. I don't know why she's glowing though. <laughs> kind of freaking me out. But I feel like if they see her in person, they would probably just know. I don't know. And so pretend that the queen isn't actually here. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Okay, we need to, ma'am, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her leave. Oh, the, the king just arrived too. I just saw him pass by. MC cheats, make him leave. Goodbye, you shouldn't be here. Um, and then you, sir, leave. They might come back. All right, there we go. And then you, can I convince you that we're royal? Oh, we don't even have to introduce ourselves to convince them. Nice, okay, that, that, that saves time. But we do need to befriend more. Who are you? Are you a royal? I don't know who you are. Convince of royal blood. Okay, you don't know me, but hi, I, I think I'm the last princess. All right, 10 sims down. No, king, leave. Do we, should we convince him? No, he wouldn't be here. Again, pretend he's not here. Okay, you, hello, convince of royal blood. Who else do we need to befriend? Heartfelt compliment. We'll try to befriend you while we are also convincing you that we're royalty. The queen is back. Oh my God. This is like apparently the only place to be because they keep coming back here. I've told them to leave multiple times. And then how is a friendship coming along? I can use a cheat again if I need to. I'm trying to make friends while convincing. Didn't we already convince them? Are they counting? They are counting. I think we need to find a few new people. We're so close. We're, we're so close. Oh, Jeffrey Landcrab. All right, funny introduction. It's funny seeing the townies here. I'm kind of curious if we're gonna see Vlad and be able to convince Vlad that we're of royal blood. Oh, we did it. We did it. Okay, cool. I need to, how do you up your fame again? Do I have to do something crazy? It'll tell you, I think. Oh, is he giving us a gift? That's sweet. What is it? Uh, he's happy to offer Annie a favor. Oh, okay. Oh, I could give him a gift too. We're not doing that right now. I don't a fame. I'm just going to cheat it for the sake of time. Let's cheat some friendships first. Okay. That's 10 friends, and now public image and increased celebrity level. Yay! <laughs> um, so we are on the next part of the aspiration now. We're now three star celebrity too. So the next part, oh my gosh, you have to gain more fame. Wait, have 20? or more friends. Didn't we just make 10 friends? All right, this is the second part of the mod. Okay, I'm literally just speeding through this. I think this is interesting though, because for gameplay wise, like you probably won't be speeding and cheating as much as I am. I, I think this would be really fun for a, a series and, and for a storyline. I definitely could play on my own. I, I'd like to play this too on my own without cheating everything. But there's like so much you could do with this. And I feel like you could just take this situation and twist it in so many ways. Especially if you're like me and play with multiple royal families. Anyone can play how they would like to, but I feel like for the most part, uh, you would have to probably do some situation, probably like a tangled situation. You could do like, yeah, like with Mother Gothel taking Rapunzel, but that was for a magical power, so I, I don't know. You'd have to figure something out, but uh, that 
was because she like was staying hidden, so she wasn't seen. So yeah, I don't know. You could do it in a bunch of different ways. Okay, so I now have had her make 20 friends and she increased her celebrity level. So next, we have to hold a press conference and max the fame skill. So this is the third part of the aspiration. Okay, hold a press conference. Where do people hold press conferences? Let's see. Volunteer, travel, plan a social event. I'm assuming it's a social event, I would think. Press conference, cool. Oh, you get money from this. I just realized how much money she has. And I don't think she has that much money. I would say how much she was struggling to feed herself. I think that was the money that the couple already, I think. The couple already had because I had added her, but now she's technically their roommate. Just just for now, because she's staying with them. Um, I think that money incorporated over there. I'm, I'm gonna lower that. I'm gonna make it like, I don't know, 50 simoleons or something. Anyway, all right, press conference. So start a press conference to let the world know who you really are. Part of the missing princess feature of the royalty mod. Yes, okay. Next. Oh, okay, missing royal. No, you are, you are not the missing royal. Annie's the missing royal. Journalist. Oh my gosh, should Agnes be the journal? Oh my god, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on, I wanna see if anyone what else is on here. He is on here. I'm gonna make Vlad the journalist. Let's have the paparazzi, not the king and queen. Let's have it be... I'm taking way too much time to decide this. I'm trying to find like an iconic townie. I never get to play with the townies because I usually delete them. <laughs> the evil mermaid, the evil mermaid. She's an evil mermaid, yeah. Okay, let's have her be the paparazzi. Oh, and, and we gotta pick a place. Well, I'd like it to be in Henford on back. Is that an option? Maybe it's not an option. Oh, well, we can have it in Windenburg. Oh, Laurel Library. Where's this at? Is this in Win- Wait, is that in Henford? I don't think so. I have no idea where that is. I have not played like the original save file, like a blank save file in a very long time. Let's just do the one in Windenburg because technically Henford is the Windenburg. I know there's an object you have to put down for this. Okay, so the object is the podium of truth and then you can give an interview to the journalist who attend the press conference. So, oh, uh, wait, 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 pretend you didn't see that. Pretend she's not in this outfit. All right, so we are now here for the press conference. It's it's almost 12 a.m. Oh my God, Vlad is dressed so fancily. So there's a podium of truth that you need for this. I'm gonna hold it in the library podium. Anything with Lazy Neef's um, mod will have the brackets and LN in it. So we're gonna put this here. So this is made specifically for this aspiration, I believe. I think there's a podium that also comes with the mod for the royalty stuff. And that increases our fame. Okay, announce self as missing royal first. And hopefully, oh, 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 they're getting in a fight. Oh no. Um, is he, wait, where did Vlad go? He's our journalist. I just saw him evaporate as a bat and go somewhere. I don't know where. But, oh, there he is. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there he is. Sir, can you come? do your job. Um, could she not get behind this? Oh, shoot. I might have put it too far back. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So she's announcing herself as the royal to, to this one child. Hi. Thank you for listening. Can you guys come inside? Are you done fighting? Oh, I can't call them over until I'm done here. Okay. All right. Announcing self as missing royal. There we go. Annie's speech went fantastically. Now the world knows the missing royal has been found. Really? Okay. Oh, she called them over. So now the crowd's coming. Vlad, you're supposed to be our journalist. Please come here. Vlad. Hello. Did you hear us? <laughs> Did you hear the press conference? <laughs> can we have an interview or, 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 or no, can we give an interview? You're so fancy. He's so dapper. Okay, who are you? Oh, the, the paparazzi. Are you taking a picture of Vlad? No, us. What, we're the missing royal. Okay, no, she's taking a picture of us. It says, thank guests for coming. So that's the objective here. So thank guests for coming and give journalists an interview. However, we're already at gold. So I guess we're done here. I don't know why I, I can't give him an interview. Maybe it was a bad idea to pick Vlad. Can I do anything with you? Are you interested in me at all? Cause you're not showing any interest. Um, oh, she fainted. Okay. We also have to max our fame skill. So what else can I do? Practice singing ups our fame. Okay. Singing is great. Yeah, sure. I mean, this is based on Anastasia. Wait, did she sing? Oh, she does. Oh yes, of course. How did I forget that? They do sing in Anastasia. The music is great. Okay. Um, let's see. Vlad, are you leaving? You're supposed to. You're supposed to be our journalist. What do I do? Hopefully you guys have better luck with the journalist thing. I don't know if it's just because I picked flat or if, if if it's something else, but um, I can't give him an interview. And that was that was another goal for the mod, but I, I, I'm i already at gold for some reason. That, that's been a glitch lately for my game is like, I'll do one thing and then I'm already at a gold uh, event, which is, I mean, it's great, but 
I just wanted to show this off, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to end this early. We're done. We've announced ourselves. The press conference went better than anyone could have expected. You received quite a few online anonymous donations too. Cool. We're not actually supposed to have this much money, but uh, well, we got some money from that. So let, let's just give us 500 simoleons now. So we piled the press conference and we need to max the fame skill. For the sake of this, you guys will, and, and when I actually get to play this on my own, we'll do other things to try and max our fame skill. However, just so we can see the rest of this, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to do public image, increase celebrity level. Woohoo, okay, so. Aspiration, oh, oh, that's it. Aspiration completed. After a long toil of trying to convince people, achieving fame and more, Annie has finally told the world she's the missing royal. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. I, I have the king and queen. Maybe they've heard we're the missing royal and maybe I should probably add them back as her mom and dad. <laughs> Let me go do that and we, we can be reunited. And I don't know if she still has the peasant trait. She might, oh, they're not home. No, okay. <laughs> And I'll use a cheat to add the back as, as her parents. So yeah, it's, it's up to you guys, I guess. If anyone did something else for the whole parent thing, you can drop a comment below and, and maybe it'll help other people out and give some ideas. But I, I just deleted their relationship because they kept saying hi to each other in town and I didn't want that. But then again, it's like you, you might not have her parents be alive. You might have more of an Anastasia situation where the monarchy fell and then they, her, only her grandmother was was living or you might have none of her relatives still alive. So it, it, I guess it's up to you. I Just for the sake of this, because this is what I had created in my head for this story. Oh, come on in. Oh, are you home? Oh no, it's a big palace. Hello, anyone, mom? Dad, do you hear that we're the missing royal? Yes, okay, there you are. All right, so we have finished the aspiration. You guys got to see it, but I just wanted to show this part in case anyone who does a similar storyline to what I just did, uh, I don't know if it would maybe give some ideas. So I just wanted to do it real quick and kind of show what I would do. So I, I thought maybe the king and queen would throw I guess a dinner party, a banquet, um, or a ball or something to basically announce that and like celebrate that their daughter has been found and someone is doing push-ups that's fine. Well, first of all, of course, I had to use the Anastasia dress by Sipix. I, I kind of thought that like, uh, if, if you're familiar with my royal family series, you know that I have a lot of the kingdoms have their own family color and like kingdom color. And I was thinking that maybe for them, maybe it's blue or something like that. So I have a blue version too, but I had to show the Anastasia dress in the colors from the actual movie because it's so pretty. That's my Sipix. Also, my custom content is on my Pinterest board, which is linked below. Albert gave a successful speech, great. But it is linked below if you want to see a, a bunch of my CC, which is pretty much royal and formal and mostly bougie stuff, other stuff too. But okay, so I was like, yeah, maybe they could give a speech. This is just the regular podium that comes with city living. You could do a bunch of stuff, of course, dancing. And then there's the royal title giver. So maybe this is where they, and of course I invited a bunch of Annie's friends um, and I'm, I need to rename her as well. Ignore the ball count of clipping with the floor. Now we're going to pretend there's a whole ceremony going on. Recognize as crown royal. So now it's like official. They're like, we, we found our daughter. Do you not have a relationship with your wife? Wait, what? D they definitely were married and had like full on relationships. What happened? Okay, we are good. And now the king and queen are married. Pretend you didn't do that. Oh, did, did you tell her? Is she the crown royal now? So you're not the missing royal anymore. I wonder if you, oh wait, okay, so she's not a peasant. All right, again, there's a, a lot to this mod um, and, and there's the, like the different class settings. There's auto classes and okay, so yeah, because she now lives here, I think that's why it gave her um, a different one. So I, I'm gonna remove the peasant trait. You, you might have to do this on your own. There's ways to turn off the, the classes and stuff. Um, and I thought I did, but I, I don't know what happened. So you can enable their Sims reaction to you. We don't need to do that right now. Turn on auto classes. All right, there we go. Gentry class. Okay, so from being a high income household. Anyway, so I, I don't think he added her as, a, as the crown royal. Yeah, yeah, no, don't designate her as the advisor. Recognize as crown royal, okay. So pretend it's a whole ceremony. The event's gonna end very soon. So hopefully they do this. Um, and we, they're, pretend people are listening. Um, and, oh, she's a pristine reputation now. Oh wait, what was that? Oh, 
become a parent. Oh, right, okay. So announces heir. So yeah, it's this whole ceremony thing. They've found their daughter. They've looked for her for years. They're so happy. They finally found her. Um, she's been announced as the crown royal. If you do this whole ceremony like I am, then you can, um, oh no, 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 the title. There's the title, the royal title giver, I think that's what it's called. Uh, crown royal title. So she is the princess. But yeah, I think that is everything. That should cover everything for the mod. So let me know in the comments if you download this mod, if you play the missing royal aspiration. Tell me all your storylines that you guys did because it's really cool to hear what everyone does with like, with one thing. You can do so many different storylines with it. All the links that I mentioned are in the video description below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you are not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!